Good evening, my dear colleague. My brother, I can't see anymore. I'm cold. Forgive me. For this time, I really leave you alone in the dark. Good evening, Mr. Swanra. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please come in. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? What can I do for you, Doctor? So did you decide not to take the experimental cure for blindness? Oh no, I have. For a few hours. But you are still... What do you mean? I don't understand. I saw the world again, Dr. Reed. For a few hours I witnessed how ugly and sad and tragic this city is. I'm sorry the effect didn't last. You don't get it, do you? I crafted a new formula that made me blind again. The world is a cesspool, Dr. Reed, and I don't want to look at it. I see this room, I see my blood, I see... I see you, my killer.
<laughs> Miss Swanborough, what have you done? Dr. Reed, is that you? What are you doing here? What happened to your eyes? Mason has been murdered. He died here alone, unable to defend himself. I tried to make a new batch of elixir, and there was an accident. You cannot stay here, Miss Swanborough. This place is not safe. Mason always told me to let him operate. I don't have his skill. The vapor burnt my eyes instantly. For the last time, you have to go to Whitechapel. The path is safe. You need someone to take care of you. Who will? My brother is dead. And without him, I'm not needed anymore. H how will I find my way? I can't see. I told you the path to Whitechapel was safe. Glad you made it, Miss Swanborough. Dr. Reed? Is that you? I did not hear you approaching. How have you been since we last met? How do you think I am? I'm blind. I'll never see again. Do you need help, Miss? Can you heal my eyes? If you can't, then I don't need you. To bring back your sight is beyond my reach. But I can treat you for your illness. Please, take this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. How do you feel, Miss Wanbrook? I'm blind. How do you think I feel? Did you return here to mock me? But I was the one who helped you back there. And why exactly were you at Mason's house at that moment? A famous doctor like you in Whitechapel. There is something not quite right about you, sir. I thought perhaps with what has happened to you, you might have learned a modicum of courtesy. I may be blind, but I'm no fool, Dr. Reed. Your little game will not work with me. I can sense something strange about you. Has someone offered to help you? Of course not. But who cares? I don't expect charity. Why should anyone help me if I'm no use to them? Perhaps they're more indifferent than resentful. Maybe they're just waiting for you to make amends. I won't ask anyone for help. The Swanborough's don't beg. What happened in that laboratory? How did you lose your sight? I thought I could make a new batch of our family remedy myself. I knew the recipe. This vapor appeared suddenly and burnt my eyes. Why did you do it? Chemicals can be incredibly dangerous. I had seen Mason do it countless times. I thought I could process it myself and keep the family business running. Are you that greedy? It was nothing like that. I was just trying to complete my brother's work. But I don't have his skill. What are you going to do now? Do you have any plans? With my brother dead and my sight lost, this is the end of Swanborough Cordial. That's all I had. What hope is there now? Loretta, why did you feel so guilty about your brother? Last year we had a stupid row. He pushed me, I pushed back, and his head hit the bench. Mason never saw again. Even if you were responsible for both accidents, you don't deserve this. I was so glad he had this idea of a miraculous elixir. He felt so useful while practicing chemistry again. Oh, Mason, I'm so sorry. Farewell, miss. A little coin for a poor blind woman. No? And then go to hell. Hello, Miss Swanborough. Oh. Hello, Dr. Reed. 
Always silent as a cat. 